What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. As you can tell today, we're gonna to be making a tiki cocktail, and I say you can tell because we have so many ingredients here. Tiki cocktails tend to utilize more ingredients than let's say your average classic. Uh, this cocktail is called a lorikeet, and that is a, a lorikeet is a parrot that is native to Australia uh, and Southeast Asia, and um, this is a jungle bird variation. That's why it's called a lorikeet. It was created by bartender, Brooklyn-based bartender named Shannon Mustafer uh, for Gladys Restaurant in Brooklyn, New York City. It is, um, so, so Shannon was on the opening staff and also continues as consulting beverage director for Gladys. Gladys is a Caribbean restaurant specializing in jerk chicken in Brooklyn. That's what I got for you. Let's get into the cocktail before I forget all the specs because there's a lot going on in this one. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do four, four dashes of the uh, Angostura bitters from the, the, the Japanese dasher. And this one actually is a Barfly dasher that, that, that I got from um, Barfly, which is an awesome dasher, I like it. Uh, it has a lit dispense is a little bit bigger of a dash. So I'm gonna do six from this dasher. Then what we're gonna do is, no, ah, let's start with the, this is what we're gonna do. So first we're gonna do one ounce of pineapple juice. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, quarter of an ounce of cinnamon simple syrup. It's one to one simple syrup that has been, uh, that has been basically I simmered cinnamon in it and let it sit for 24 hours and then I double strained it all out. And we're gonna do quarter of an ounce of the cinnamon, half an ounce of banana liqueur. You can absolutely use Giffard. I am going to be using this um, Tempest Fugit, which I really like it. It's like, oh, it's like, it's like fresh baked spiced banana bread. I know I said that in another episode, but oh, it's good. And then two ounces of Rittenhouse rye. And we're going to take a little bit of crushed ice and throw it up into our tin here. Give it a little whip shake, like so, like these shakes, like you just want to get the, you want to, you can shake it, you can shake it until it's all gone. You're just trying to get a little of the dilution going and a little chill going, but you're going to pack it in crushed ice, so you don't want to shake it with too much crushed. Just a little, little dab will do it. Somebody was like, I can't wait to see you smile while you're shaking, so I don't want to, I don't want to give you guys any, uh, I don't want to disappoint you guys. I want to be smiling the whole time. All right, cool. There we go. And then add that into a glass. And we are going to, now, this is a slightly more brown appearance than if you use the Giffard, which is basically very light and yellow, then you're going to get a much redder color. This is a little bit browner because, um, I, uh, I use the dark uh, banana. Let's give it a taste before we garnish it. Oh, ooh, that's hefty. Ooh, yeah. It's got like a back of the throat burn that's just like, mmm. Oh, it's got so much going on in there. All right, obviously, the pineapple and the cinnamon is just like, mmm. Then obviously, you got your lemon juice in there to provide you with the proper amount of acidity. I think we should probably do the garnish too, so you guys can get the full effect. And we're just like a couple of pineapple spears. And let me give it a little orange spritz. So it looks kind of like that. I mean, everything comes comes through. So you got that, it's like not too burny, but you do get like a nice burn and you get that rye whiskey that's kind of spiciness that's coming in through. You also get like those sort of spiced notes from the Angostura. You get a little bit of the Innis from the Peychaud's. This is perfectly balanced. It even tastes a little bit of the banana. You know, the pineapple is prevalent. Uh, it's mixing with the, the cinnamon syrup like so well. And of course, 
It would not be a complete balanced drink without that night note of acidity, which is what we're getting from this lovely uh, lemon juice. Now, if you guys feel cheated and you say, oh, Leandro didn't, didn't forget anything this episode, and I kind of feel like he's not being himself, you will notice that I didn't put a straw in here, and all crushed ice cocktails need a straw, and, I, and it's because I forgot it. And I didn't want to go to the other room where I know where all my straws are. Um, I will say, though, that... Um, uh, I'm using a new bitters dasher from our uh, sponsor, Barfly Mixology Gear, and it's a very nice dasher. Typically, with these types of dasher tops, I kind of I've always gone to the uh, Japanese ones because the Japanese dasher tops are very, very precise, and I really like that precise dash. It gives you a lot of control over your cocktail. And typically, with these dasher tops, um, you don't get as much control. But I will say that I'm very impressed uh, with this dasher because this gives a nice even dash. It's a little bit bigger than this, so you're gonna if you dash from one of these, you have to adjust a little, but I love this dasher. So Barflies are sponsored. They make great quality gear, and I'm just so happy that I got these new dasher bottles from them. So I don't know. That's all I gotta say. Here you guys have it, the uh, lorikeet. So go and make it and enjoy this nice, perfect for the summer, Caribbean cocktail, Caribbean flavored cocktail. And if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and definitely check us out on Patreon at patreon.com backslash the educated barfly. And you'll see that we've got some pretty cool perks there and we've got lots of cool things going on. Until next time, I will see you on the next one.